Hello everybody, how are y'all doing? Hey guys. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing good. Had some uh, minor tech gremlins in the beginning, hence your slightly different intro going on there. Uh, oh jeez. <coughs> oh jeez. What, what, what are you <laughs> Too doing? Much, man. Oh, <laughs> doing? Too much, man. What? Doing? Too much. You got like the Fortniter on Ooh. the end there doing his. Yeah, it's today we're going to talk about trick shots. <laughs> <laughs> 360 no scopes with Pontus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Good luck. <laughs> but yeah, hello everyone. This is uh, my first time in front of the camera. Well, it's been a GC month in since in a yesterday. While. Yeah. Oh, for, for a time. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're on vacation for a bit. Looking and moderately uh, less pale than I was before. <laughs> That's fair. Good. Nice. Yeah, you get a nice color. <laughs> Of pink. I spent most of the holiday dodging the sun, to be honest. Yeah. How was the holiday? It was awesome. Well, thank you, folks. Welcome back. Well, thank you. So, yeah. Um, again, Pontus, myself, Graham, and our product owner, Paul. Hello, hello. here today to answer your questions. Will Graham be here? Yes. Yes, I will. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I, is, where is Graham? Where is he? I don't know. Well, actually, that could be a funny joke, because I tend to make the terrible mistake Matrix wearing section. green t-shirts sometimes. <laughs> um, but, uh, so yeah, this fellow was waiting for me. Yeah, I like how they uh, they ambush you immediately upon exiting. Yes. Uh, where can I ask yes, a game-breaking question without having a public in chat? Um, you can get right support dot generation zero dot com. Go there. You can send us a support ticket. It's all via email and just between us and you on the down low. I'll try to help you out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so what what did we what did you say uh, for for kind of announcing this this stream that this is kind of like our, our last last stream of the of the year before the holidays? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's. Um, I was reading the chat. Hang on, what okay, the sorry. The question? You're, you're jumping. I, I was just commenting on the the, the part of what we're going to talk about today is just like this is the last stream of the year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Last one of the year. Last chance for 2019 to ask us everything you want to know. And we Man, might answer so many, some of it. That is so many, Jesus, so many years into the 2000s. It is. Yeah. I, I remember back when we were, you know, 90s and stuff. Yeah, uh, it feels like the man. 90s were just Ooh. like a month ago. Man, that's time messes with you like that. Like, yeah, it's it's I have no concept. Every time people are like, hey, remember in 1990, blah, 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 this happened? I'm like, yeah, that was just like a couple of years ago, right? Yeah. No, it's uh -huh. You know, it's actually it hurts, a scientific hurts my thing, age. though. As you get older, your concept of time is faster and faster. Which really? is why you feel the years burning, which is pretty tragic, really. Oh. <laughs> I always... <laughs> racing to our doom. I always, I always approach it from the fact that I'm like, I'm, I'm way too busy all the time, and I never have time to just stop and, uh, you know, smell the roses, as it were. I'm not, not quite sure what the hell's going on half the time. Like, some of vacation as kids, that was like a lifetime. Uh, okay, oh. yeah. Um, finally caught the stream early, just finished my last final, I can't wait to spend time with family. That sounds awesome, Brennell. Great way to start the holidays. Congratulations nice. on uh, wrapping up the finals. Ooh, get some. Experimental Magnus, gonna be a dream come true. That would be pretty Ooh. nice. I know Pontus would be a yeah, fan. Yeah, look how I just... Yep. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Just... I don't know what uh, what kind of special Ooh. I wanted for it though. Maybe. What can mm. we, okay, folks. What do you th what do you think? If you were to have an experimental Magnus, what would it do? What do you think? Like Let's exploding see. bullets would be nice. Like more like grenade bullets. Oh almost. man. <laughs> like I mean, we super we hard. Uh, we had a power up day, which is basically mm. we give we give uh, the team uh, we give them two days uh, this time. Just like, hey, what are crazy ideas? Give them a chance to kind of blow off some steam, try out some new things that they've always been trying mm. to think of, and uh, somebody threw together something that's kind of along those lines, just like really crazy stuff with bullets. Uh, that doesn't mean any of this stuff's going to make it into the game. It's again like Holy us trying way. to do. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's, it's us trying to do fun things, but uh, yeah. you know, it's it's interesting. Yeah. Oh man. Oh no. Not, not. I accidentally entered the. Uh, uh, He's not doing so good. Typical, typical Pontus. Well, I entered mm. the text chat them. for some reason. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> did I have a. Uh, come on. Man, oh man. No. Oh. Ouch. It was mint today. You got the wombo combo. Yeah, he worked you pretty good there, mm -hmm. man. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, well, he, he stood up here and he. <laughs> Traceable. He just, he just waited for you. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Oh, wow. That would be awesome, actually. Tracer rounds. Some tracer Particularly rounds? in the new, in the new uh, machine guns. Especially that. Ooh. I mean, that, that stuff really, like, uh, takes off at night, too. You know? Yeah. Like, it really lights up the, the evening. Mm. It's interesting. Kind of it really sets off the mood. Mm. What does GZ Team think about Apocalypse Tip? 
tick radiation poison nerf. Ah, uh, have mm. we been thinking about it? Or um, otherwise, thank you for the feedback. That is we'll, a that is a good one. Yeah. Uh, no, we haven't thought about it. That I haven't much, seen actually. it as a general sort of bone of contention. Yeah. So community. I mean, um, what what is what are your thoughts on it? Is it just way too powerful? Is it slightly too powerful? I, uh, mm. Who who asked the question? I missed it. Where was it? Uh, Valkoi. Yeah. I mm. mean. Give us uh, a little bit more detail on, on on what you like or don't like about it, and then we can we can have a discussion. But yeah, yeah, like Graham said, that's a we haven't heard that come up uh, at all. Or not if, so much. If much uh, like know. small muttering. Some people are like, ah, oh, it's okay, and other people are like, ah, oh, I don't like it. You know, there's always going to be uh, I mean, opinions. I mean, I think that there's always an element of ticks being the most annoying enemy in the game, which is mm. why they're, why. But they're, they're my the things favorite. you love to hate. I love yeah, that I about love them. I think I if they weren't there, there'd be a bit of a void. So. I still yeah. enjoy like the jump scares that they provide for me. Yes. Like, yeah, I know time. everyone hates it, but I, I no, love no, it. No, no, no. Each time, it. it doesn't matter how many <laughs> you kill. <laughs> uh, Frost Snail saying it's... It, well, this isn't Swedish, but I'll translate. Oh. Saying it's super cool to see a Swedish game with a oh, Swedish yeah. environment. A Sven <laughs> Svensk? Yeah, <laughs> Swedish it's environment. And he's got us speaking English, so that doesn't really... What about the giants you announced in a survey? We did not announce any giants. We did do a survey, and as a part of the survey, you know, uh, we do ask kind yeah. of crazy stuff. Like, what do you think about aliens? And yeah. This, and it's not necessarily because we're thinking, hmm, you know what, we want to do aliens. It's more just, you know, we want to see how you're all thinking. So when you see these weird things in a survey, don't necessarily think that we're planning to immediately do them. It's yeah. more we want to get a feeler about, like, what your general thoughts are around things. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. it could... I mean, it, mm. for for a lot of those things, it could be you know just because we had it in there and only one person voted for it. Well, I mean, we're probably not going to do that thing. But if yeah. you know ninety percent of people are like, "Hey, I really want this thing," mm. all right, we need to seriously consider that. And again, yes. it's not a guarantee. It's still a all right. Let's let's consider it more closely than maybe we had before. So, are you saying that enough people chose it, we'd make Generation Zero a rhythm game? Oh wow, oh, jeez, oh, <laughs> <laughs> that would be a far cry from where we are now. Like, that far is, cry? Oh jeez. <laughs> um, Will there be new weapons or a weapon DLC? I mean, that's a good question because, of course, we've never done anything like that in the past. Yeah. Uh, weapons we have given you have all been included as a part of the product or yep. alongside other releases. So. Yep. Uh, I mean, we we know that people love weapons in games. I mean, that's a that's a thing that's mm -hmm. fairly universal. Uh, right now, a lot of our conversations are, are, are similar to what Graham already mentioned, which is you know we put some in the Alpine and Rust pack. Uh, they're even in that update, and you know, rare chance for you to get them if uh, even if you don't own it. Um, you know, we're, we'll always continue to look into those things, but we're, we're not in a rush to, to put more out there. Yeah. Um, I mean, you have a lot of the basic gun types that you'd you'd expect from mm -hmm. from shooters, uh, which means that if we're going to introduce more, we want to make sure that they bring something new and interesting to yeah. gameplay, not just be like, here's the tenth SMG. I uh, mean, that's the problem with guns. You know, they just do pew a bit more or a bit differently. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. This one does big pew but slower. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and there's room for nuance there, but I mean, yes. it's, I think what's what's more interesting from at least my perspective and how I think about it is what what changes up the game and makes it feel a bit more fresh or provides you with different tactics. Which is really where helpful. experimental weapons came in, and yeah. that's probably something we'd probably like to play with in the future. Yeah, I mean, I think that was a lot of fun, and it, it you know thematically fits. There's a lot of uh, interesting tech floating around mm -hmm. this world. Why not harvest it and make some cool shit out of it? Yes. What about storage box? Will it be sortable? I mean, storage box in general, um, this was still like the first iteration that folks are playing with. We've done some kind yep. of, you know, bug fixing and tweaking, but we haven't really done any revamps of it since it came out, what, three months ago? Something like that. So, I mean, this, it's, it's still somewhat new in the game development terms. Um, so, chances are we can take a look again in the future. I yeah, mean, I mean, we're it's... definitely looking at feedback. Anyway. It's just like uh, with a lot of the other stuff, is we've, we've been in a... Not in a hurry, but we've been steadily trying to make improvements to the game over time. Um, and we haven't allowed ourselves a whole lot of time to go back and take a second pass on some of the things that we think the game needed to be added um, yeah. in the first place. So things like storage, we know that there are challenges with. It's not perfect. It could be better, yes. So those are things that we're going to start trying to dig into. Um, but I, you know, nothing hard right now. I mean, uh, a, lot it's, it's a lot of this first year has been kind of about reacting to things quickly that people we really felt were lacking. Yeah. So we were like, we'll give you this one, we'll give you this one. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, this def now, now we'll, it's really got to a good state in terms of, you know, where we want it to be in a lot of respects. Yeah. We can start to maybe start finally adjusting and going back to yeah. the things we've done I before, mean, perhaps. You so. uh, thank you for bringing it up. I think a, a good way to think about it is, yes, a lot of um, this year has been getting things in the hands of players that we knew that 
you had asked for, but also things that we recognized that the game was was lacking in a certain mm. area. Um, and whether that be via your feedback or just things that we knew from what uh, was in our heads, um, you know, shortly after launch or even at launch for some of the some of the things. Mm. Um, how do we get those out there? How do we make it? Try to make it a more complete game, more of what people you know match more of people's expectations. Uh, now we're in the point where like let's polish those things and then start looking to more stuff that we can continue to build on well, to stuff really keep is always good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. to we keep like. fleshing out the game, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's it's um, there's just more that we know we can do with the game, and it's a lot of that again based on feedback, but also things that we have in our heads that we've been wanting to do, uh, that we think uh, all of you would like. Um, so it's going to be a mix of those things, yeah. you know, going forward. Cool. Um, Jerakub is asking another question. Um, Primarily about mouse slider settings. I know we've had general feedback about this in the past, but mm -hmm. Jericho's saying, particularly for him, he has some sort of slight mobility issues, yeah. and things like this would make him make it much easier for him or her mm -hmm. to uh, mm -hmm. interact with the game. Is that something that we've thought about? Maybe more uh, customization options for Actu how we do controls? Actually, we have. Oh. That looked so good up until the last part. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of missed this. It yeah. looks like you were trying to be smart about it and then <laughs> failed. Uh, yeah, so to get back to the question, mm. uh, yes. Uh, I've actually been recently putting some effort into try to evaluate where we are mm. with some of the um, customization options we, we have and then figuring out what more could we add? Mm. Uh, what more would we like to add? Uh, the challenge then becomes how quickly do we put some of those yeah. things in there? Um, you know, and speaking frankly, they're maybe not as top tier as a new feature or something like that, right? But that doesn't make them any less valuable. Um, so right now, I'm just trying to figure out what is it we need to do? What do I want to do? And then and when can we schedule that? Yeah, stuff I mean, to that, that's so the, the, it takes time. the juggling act. I, I kind of try and remind people about every week we stream, really, is that. Us as devs, we want to do everything. Yeah. You want us to do everything. For us, it's a matter of deciding which thing happens when and what we can do in X amount of time versus the yeah. other thing and Y amount of time. And you know, and that's where you come in as a PO yep. along with producers and you kind of you know make the magic happen. Yes. Yeah. But it's uh, it's uh, it's a good time to question because <coughs> I've, I've actually been working on it the last few weeks. Um, just in in the time that I have in between meetings and other things, uh, I've been putting <laughs> my favorite thing together: presentations. Yes. Uh, about. Uh, where where I'd like to take some things. I look forward to seeing it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, would it be fleshing out the main island to be more like the DLC, says Lady Nibiru on Mixer? That's a good question. That is a good question, and that is something that uh, we've been thinking thinking a bit about. I think that with um, with Alpine Unrest and with the, the dip into Hiem Fiel, um, we, we tried to do a lot of stuff that uh, we think was... Um, Really built on player feedback about what were things that the maybe the base game didn't quite hit correctly, and for us it was a somewhat of an exercise to say if we want to try to do this stuff, um, what what does it take to get there? How do we kind of hit the quality bar that we want to hit? Yeah. Um, so that we can take that and say, all right, cool. What what elements can we play and bring that back into the into the base game? Mm -hmm. So we're taking a hard look at that, and that's you know based off of what. All y'all, all y'all, all y'all. All kind of that's the American coming out. Jesus. You pull. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm not even from the South, but no. anyway, uh, <laughs> so it's it's taking some of that feedback and trying to figure out where where do we take that in the main game? Uh, what does that timeline look like? How fast can we do that type of stuff? But we want to try to take those learnings that we have from the work that we did for Alpine and Rest and make sure that the rest of the game kind of matches that same kind yeah. of uh, feeling. Um, I mean, that'll be probably a long-term effort, but it's, you know, that's definitely on our radars for something that we should, we want to consider. Because um, we want people to just, you know, when they come into the game, enjoy the game. Yes. Well, that's why we're here. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Terry on Facebook is asking if there's going to be more islands open. Well, we've only just opened one to you. <laughs> uh, <so laughs> it took whoa. a while to get there, but, but yeah. We, we do appreciate the enthusiasm. I mean, who knows? Maybe we do what we just spoke about before. We might look at revisiting existing places or yes there's more islands to visit maybe oh, thinking yeah. even bigger there could be a new continent i don't know well, yeah. i mean this new so continent new Woo, man so we're going we, i'm announcing it now no man I'm we're not, headed not, to uh, um, <laughs> but there's headed africa that we have many different things we can think yeah. about so. no i mean but yes uh i mean we you know seeing how this dlc does you know we're always interested to see what other opportunities are there to sell compelling to tell compelling stories mm. um i think that's first and foremost what's what's uh what matters is yes. What's what's interesting and what's fun. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Telebri really wants hunter mortars having friendly fire, so the mortar attack from hunters damaging other hunters. Okay. Feedback taken. Okay. I guess. Yeah. 
bought the game two weeks ago, got 150 hours clock. I think you wow. succeeded in making awesome game clock as well. That's a, that's a lot in two weeks. That, that is. Really is. I am impressed. Did well you done. sleep? Yeah, sleep, folks. Game healthfully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's dedication. Game responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> Ever thought about a Switch port? I mean, there'll be some challenges oh, there, I think, in terms of, like, graphical fidelity and things, perhaps. Yeah. I think um, I remember I remember hearing this question some months ago. Uh, mm. And, yeah, basically the same answer is it's a challenge due to um, kind of the engine and the scope of the world. It's not insurmountable, but I think it's... It's something that we need to weigh against everything else that we're trying to do, and it's yeah. it's probably a bit bit outside of our uh, scope at this moment. Mm -hmm. uh, what was this? Oh, I've just not played this game for ages. What's been added since the day one release? Well, that's a big question. Oh boy! Wow. Uh. Storage boxes, rivals, which are evolving machine mini bosses, mm -hmm. which can drop experimental weapons, which have unique abilities, you have bikes, in-game challenges, in-game challenges, um. and resulting cool outfits you can get for them. Outfits, um, titles. Titles. Um, yeah. Uh, we did some reworks of the starter experience and the starter island in general. Mm -hmm. Added more sort of uh, terrain-based storytelling type stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, new DLC. New DLC. That's a quite a large yeah. one. <laughs> um, tons of like, we've done a whole bunch of free skins given away at different points. I mean, um, and plenty of plenty of bug fixes and just you know general. And, uh, yeah, other to otherwise to just yeah. making betterer. Yeah. <laughs> um, making better. I think you guys uh, <laughs> did a nice little yearly wrap there. A little wrap. Uh, I'm sure I a missed some of it, but of the year. Oh yeah, we're we're putting some touches together on a on a thing. Pontus is going to do an end of the year wrap. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that right. Yeah. We'll give you five <laughs> minutes, Pontus, then you can start. Oh, you want me to freestyle? You got to freestyle. It. <laughs> really? Yeah. Something about. This is when I realized that Pontus is actually a secret freestyle rapper. Oh, yeah. Spare time. Oh, just oh, yeah. Drops bombs. Y you can see me at <laughs> open mic at Big Ben each oh. Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I walk by that every day, so all right, I'll look for you. <laughs> it's down in the cellar. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. More cha will we have more challenges, speaking of, uh, and in the future, for perhaps the rewards like human clothing, etc. Yeah, we want to do that. That is absolutely something. I mean, that's that's part of the reason we introduced some of the some of these <laughs> <laughs> some yeah. of these systems is so that we can expand on them in the future. Mm. And, and uh, kind of going back to what we talked about yeah. with the inventory, uh, same type of thing. We we got an iteration in there, and now it's time to I improve it and expand it. Um, so that's where we're, we're going to start putting some of our focus uh, mm -hmm. going forward. Is the new M4 machine gun in the game? Uh, I was not aware we had one. An M4. <laughs> we have two new machine guns, uh, KVM-56 and KVM-68. Oh, oh. I, I know that they share like a platform with other uh, weaponry in different countries, but I'm not a weaponry like genius in that respect. No. But we do have two machine guns. Yes. And as I was aware, I thought an M4 was an assault rifle. It is. Yeah. yeah. Um, I believe it's some. Yes. Yeah, I'm yeah. guessing it's. Uh, I don't. I'm not. I don't remember this stuff. No, but it, it, I'm guessing M4, M16, same yeah, kind of yeah, line. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The big one. Will we ever just swim in this game? I mean, we've said oh in the geez. past it didn't make sense because it kind of it, it it gives us the issue where we make a lot of our sort of storytelling routes redundant because yeah. you just go and run past Shortcut stuff. everything. Um, nar narratively, it doesn't make sense because you're now in the middle of November in Sweden and you would actually die. Yeah, I don't want to say that is a good point. Yeah, uh, but I mean, yeah, well, I mean, what what do you hope to get from the whole swimming experience? I think, I mean, I, I mean if I if I jump on uh, behalf of the players, having mm -hmm. had this conversation a few times internally, uh, is that you know, it just opens up the ability to freely explore. Mm -hmm. um, Areas like lakes, uh, it just gives you a more a bigger a sense more of freedom. freedom I think. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that said, um, not high on our priority list. I mean, I know uh, our lead designer uh, Bjorn is really wants swimming. Okay. He and I have talked about it. Okay. Before. So there is um, some internal discussion. There happening. is. There is. We have. We have discussed it. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, nothing right now. Okay. Put it that way. Cool. But the conversation is ongoing. Yes. Uh, make another DLC. I love you guys so much. This game is perfect. Well, thank you, Nacho. Can, I, can, uh, can we have a vacation first? Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nope. the devs would no. really, really no. like no. to go hang with their family a little while. Yeah. Um, water bots and a rubber dinghy. That would mm. be pretty neat, actually. Because if we had okay. swimming, then we have to have some kind of threat in the water as well. Wouldn't water we? bots and a rubber dinghy. Other yeah, than hypothermia. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking like water bots. Yeah. They must rust. I was going to say, yeah. Like, what, do they get a like special the rubber botting? Or yeah. Or something. I mean. 
Uh, Death Driver talking about the flamethrower range and the actual damage, uh, mm. as shown on screen. We're aware yep. of that one. There is yes. a bit of a disconnect between the the detail effect and where the damage hits you. So yep. don't worry, we're on that. Yep, that is a bug that we are tracking. Mm. Oh, somebody else had a question for me. Uh, can I add an M2? It takes 50 BMGs. And are you adding crafting? BMGs, BMGs. 50 BMG as in the caliber. Ah, uh, okay. Well, an M2 is an American. So we have a. American. Yeah, weapon, I, so I think we got a, a mix-up of various things in there, but yeah, I mean, we we mm. mainly we mainly try to stick to what would be period period and location weaponry. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I outside of experimental weapons, where we've obviously gone creative there. Yeah, all the base platforms are weaponry that you could kind of expect to potentially find within Sweden in this yeah. time period. Yeah. Admittedly, you're not going to find them in someone's drawer or something like that in a lot of cases, but they yeah. exist in some form or another. Yeah, indeed. Maybe we can step away from that you know, in the future, but mm. this is where we're going right now. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Do you drink... Oh, this is an important one. Uh-oh. Do you drink Yulmust or Coca-Cola for Christmas? Would you want to each answer that question? I've got mine prime. Yulmust, fight me if you disagree. <laughs> yeah, I, I <laughs> totally agree with that. I think Yulmust is the only soda that I drink, It's actually. amazing. I love it. Paul, you look like a Coca-Cola guy. I don't even drink Coca-Cola. Okay. I, I try to avoid soda for the most part. So just say Yulmust. But Yulmust is drink. literally poison. <laughs> <laughs> what? It will kill you. Uh, it, so it's it's I guess you're not a Dr. Pepper fan either, then. No, I love Dr. Pepper. Really? Because there are no, no, no similarities. No, it doesn't. No, it yeah. doesn't. No. <laughs> if but you didn't grow up in the U.S., mm. you have no right to say that. It is absolutely untrue. We, well, I grew up in England where the sodas are made with sugar and not corn syrup. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. That's why. <laughs> Dr. Pepper Dr. Pepper in the U.S. tastes nothing like Yulmust. Yeah. I, I do like Much Yulmust. better. It's, it's I can't. Awesome. No, I can't. I can't. I, uh, oh boy. <laughs> you like oh boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those who don't get that joke, the, uh, oh boy is like a chocolate milkshake mix thing you can buy here in Sweden. Yeah, it's um, like I know we do have those in the team who do like oh boy. Yeah. You almost just like a religion in Sweden. Well, it's actually, you know, another fun Swedish factoid for our international guests. Sweden is one of the few countries in the world where Coca-Cola sales actually take a dip. Yeah. Instead of a massive spike during the Christmas period, because Swedes are all chugging Yulmust. Um, w does that is it similar in April for Easter with uh, Postmus? I don't know. Maybe it's not sort of so a big as Yulmust. Yeah, I don't. Know if yeah, I, don't I mean, I know that I use it as my chance to get another. I mean, it's the same. It's drink, the same thing. So <laughs> I, I, I definitely purchase some Postmust. Yeah, I mean, it's brilliant branding, right? Mm. Same, same flavor, just different name. Slap oh, I'll on a new it. label. Yeah. Yeah, hey, if you're a, if you're a, a must pro, you will feel the difference. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Th but you don't really <laughs> think you soda for No, but still, <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, giving them some credit. Got it. Uh, there's a good good education opportunity, I guess. Lanson's asking: Is there any special reason to be invented the names of the Russian AK and the MGs? Why not use their original names? That is a great question mm. that involves money. Exactly. Um, we money and lawyers. Money, and lawyers, yeah. international um, policies and political. Mm. It's it's messy. Yes. That's that's why. Yeah, uh, it's better for us just not to touch that and just yeah. do our own thing. I, I mean, mean, it's for example, take to fact like medkits. For example, some of you might know that you, oh can't, yeah. you can't have the red cross symbol on medkits yeah. in video games, which is why, as you can see in Pontus inventory, I'm pointing at the screen. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, there's a green cross in it because it's a protected um, marker. Yep. And yeah. For the yeah, but uh, having having uh, worked on games that used um, officially licensed weapons, I can say that it is a massive headache. All for months. Yeah. Uh, not even prior to launch, during the course of the game, it's it's. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! You actually got it stuck on nice. the end of its gun. <laughs> nice, buddy. That was awesome. So, what do you say about like? Uh, Voice emotes. So when you throw a flare, he goes fetch. That would be amazing. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> I mean, so interesting. Um, I remember talking about this ages ago. Um, the launch time frame when I was trying to come up with some uh, cool things that we could start uh, thinking about for the future, and it, it got put on the back burner because we had some, mm. you know, more more crazy ideas that we wanted to get out the door first. Uh, but man, I love VO stuff. Yeah, I think that'd be that'd be interesting. So it's yes. another one for the the you know we have a 
we have a pile of feedback stuff from not only yourselves but even internally of things we want to work on. Um, yeah. Things that are not you know not massive tasks, but they're smaller things um, that you know we can we can try to get to for things like the power update that I mentioned earlier. I mean, we have an um, internal channel, don't we? Yeah. Which is just full of all the kind of random spontaneous ideas we have. This would be pretty cool. Yep. Wouldn't this be nice? We've categorized all that stuff. It's all in a giant spreadsheet. Mm? Mm, yeah. Spreadsheets. Spreadsheets. Love them. Yep. Spreadsheets are life. Uh, but yeah, that's an interesting one. I, I do I do enjoy VO trigger stuff. Well, of course, as we've got some chat now. No, I like the silent protagonist. Please know, but things like that, you, you know, the ability to have them optional, is of course, I think, great too. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Nice, buddy. I'd like to propose adding nice mustaches for a cosmetic. Cop <laughs> movies have showed that having a pushy mustache increases accuracy and aw awesomeness. If Magna PI taught us nothing, I mean, I mean it's a fair point. Yeah. That's yeah, a fair I point. I totally agree with I that. I cannot argue with that. Mm -hmm. Or just facial hair of different types. Would be yeah. Pretty neat. Ooh, boy, watch your health. Yeah. When are you planning to release the next update? During Christmas or after? I can assure you, definitely not Christmas, because, uh, I mean, not generally as a dev studio, you do not want to be dropping things in the middle of a, a point where a lot of your devs want to be spending time with Yeah, I, I so. mean, that's that's a multifaceted one for the, the reason as to why, why not an update late in December. Uh, one, the console manufacturers, um, uh, you know, Xbox and Sony, their people are out of the office, mm. so even if we wanted to put something out there, uh, they kind of close offices and they won't publish things during that time frame. So uh, we not we'd be unable to do so. Yeah. Uh, but outside of that, um, you know, we we need to, we need a break and uh, kind of like you you talked about um, putting something out there before a holiday period when you're unable to get people in the office to fix something should it break. Um, but even have the consoles be there to push that thing live for you. Yeah. Um, it means factors, that we could yeah. put out a yeah we could put out something really bad, and then it would just sit there for a month, and that's not what we want to do. Um, so we're we're trying to take the responsible route and say, make sure the game doesn't get broken before we leave by doing us trying to force something out there crazy. Yes. Um, that said, there might be something happening over the the holiday period. Good segue there, Paul. Oh, thank you. Yes. It's like we talked about this beforehand. Yeah, almost. <laughs> we had a plan. So yeah, there will be something that we'll be talking about on Friday. Uh, I think we'll be telling folks then um, to watch this space. Yeah. Uh, just a little, little something for you to work towards during the yeah. holiday period. Something to tide you over. Mm -hmm. I like the sound of that. Yeah, good. Ba -ba -ba. I figured you would. <laughs> not because we pay you to say that. <laughs> no, I'm not that hard to please. <laughs> and I want fun things to do during Christmas. No, indeed. Who wouldn't? Uh, Cyber Viper's having some crash issues. Please get in touch with us at support generationzero.com and we can uh, take a look into that for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. That doesn't sound fun. Option to spend real money to get weapons and skill points quicker. Ooh. Whew. I, I mean, I know that uh, Paul as a product donor would love that idea, but I it mean, might not go well in the community at large, potentially. I mean, geez. <laughs> uh, you can email me and <laughs> we'll we set can up work a special something deal. out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll you know, speaking frankly, I think that those type of things uh, are always interesting for some part of the community. That is like, you know, what I don't have plenty of time. I don't have all. I the don't hours. have time, but I have money. Exactly, um, and that's fair. I think that it's a balancing act. Um, right now, that's not a, a something I'm thinking about. Uh, mm -hmm. To be honest, um, we want people to you know, hopefully, just get into the game, enjoy the game, and, and play through it. Mm. Um, yeah. That's about I mean, the nice thing is that, that it's not a competitive game, so yeah. there, there isn't an element of you being better than someone else because you're yeah. oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh! Oh, 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 Let's smoke rounds, really? No, I was, <laughs> just, I was just, you know. That's How right. much would it cost me to PayPal you to get a, pa a panda beanie hat? A panda beanie hat? Uh, we're not really the ones you're looking to talk to for panda-related stuff. I'm sorry to say. I, c I can appreciate that his uh, his name is Freddy Panda Eyes Millington. Yeah. So I mean, you know what? Well played on the, the mm. request. I I appreciate someone that sticks to a theme. But that being said, hats are cool, and we are looking at some fun merch ideas. Hats which are cool. The community might be able to win in various ways. Or or going or going back to what you said uh, earlier about things we're trying to 
think about in the future with more challenges and chance to earn rewards like we had in the past and you can some outfits. Yeah. Maybe there maybe we could do a panda hat. <laughs> I'm not saying that we will, but you know, now the idea is in my head, so we'll see I, what happens. I mean, I guess in terms of storyline, Sweden had a zoo, Panda escaped, Panda <laughs> became sentient, <laughs> became the leader of the survivor factions against the machines. Just go from there. Plot twist. Wow, that was okay, against yeah. That I've been watching Watchmen the recently. Man. They have a panda, so I've been meaning to watch panda. that. It's I'm also happy. Happy for uh -huh. Christmas TV I watched tips. the first <laughs> the first season of Happy. That was Yeah. That was an experience. It was. It was amazing. I love my wife, who doesn't normally like comic book stuff, loved it to pieces. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I'm in some trouble. Oh, uh, you yeah, are, well, yeah. One HP, you know. no health packs. No. Get out of there. Get out of there, guy. Yeah, at least I had one shot left. <laughs> Any is, chance uh, of some sort of streamer support or recognition program like other games do? Um, we try our best for what we can do, and particularly when we have like new content coming up. We saw with Alpine Arrest, we gave uh, certain folks some early access. RGP did some videos for us. Um, it's something we'd love to do, and it's been a bit limited, mainly in terms of sort of the bandwidth we have. But absolutely, uh, that's a great idea, and I think we'll probably do more of that as we go forward. Uh, we're looking at quite some uh, growth on our side um, over the coming year, so for sure. I mean, we love to. We love you folks creating content about a game and uh, having it out there, so for sure. I would buy Ash the Flesh and Barbed Rose t-shirts uh. so you have an opportunity for merch there. That'd be pretty neat, actually. Uh, I mean, if uh, if you can get your hands on a collector's edition, it does come with an Ash of the Flesh t-shirt. Is it Ash of the Flesh? It is yeah, actually it is. Ash of the Flesh. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just Barb Rose we don't have. No. Otherwise, I have a Red Bubble t-shirt store, which I will give you a <laughs> <laughs> It's strange, but I like the idea of the panda being the resistance leader. That's there we go. So oh, we'll tell we'll tell Greg, our uh, narrative <laughs> yeah. designer, and he I'm can he can get on that. I'm hoping he's not watching. <laughs> he's gonna get back to my desk. He's Sorry, gonna, Greg. He's going to be upset with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I heard you promised a thing with pandas. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I'd love to sit that in a game sometime. Imagine. God, man, my man, <laughs> my man. <laughs> Your health is... Yeah, I know. I need some... I don't have any packs. You live life on the edge. Yeah, I, that I do. But my inventory is kind of... I'm gonna Limited. Yeah, I'm going to just smoke a lot. You know, uh, before you got here, we talked to... Really quick. I'm like, hey, man, are you, you set up? You got enough you got yeah. med picks? He's yeah. like, I'm feeling good. He's <laughs> like, today, <laughs> I'm going to be on top of it. YOLO. Uh, yeah. What's yeah. the... What's the yeah, okay. Ooh, oh. Okay, look at this. Okay, you know what? Okay. Now I just I hope they haven't got any of those. Oh, these guys. These guys. Ah, oh. No, I got stuck on a corner. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. No one puts punters in the corner. Exactly. <laughs> Except that hunter. Except that hunter. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, my oh man, it's my such man. a long More way realistic go. machine movements would be great. Uh, so what... what in, in your um, opinion, is the realistic version of a, of a hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way it was phrased. But um, what do you mean by realistic precisely? Um, you want to see more types of animations? Nice. Or, um, yeah. I, I mean from, uh, from my end, uh, we something we've talked about recently has been um, actually trying to make them a bit more uh, responsive, a bit more, mm. um, I don't know if realistic is the right word, but it's... We want to. We definitely want to tweak them a bit, make yeah. them a bit more um, uh, challenging and a bit more. Yeah, realistic is now that we're stuck no, in my I head. I'm I trying to figure I out what it means. I think it might be a language you know? thing. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's mm. fine. But uh, yeah, we're. I mean, we're looking at with that stuff. Not turn in a millisecond. Aha. Uh, well, that's his different person who's interjecting mm. there. Oh no, it's not okay. same guy. Same guy. Not turning in a millisecond. Okay, so he wants more. Slow. I mean, the tanks pace. are the tanks are pretty slow and methodical. So, yeah, I mean Hunters are meant to be lithe and nimble, and yeah. uh, most of their guns on these machines they are kind of you know turret based to some like extent. Yeah. So, hmm. but it's fair feedback though. If it's uh, if it's getting a little too uh, uncanny valley. Mm. Yeah. I think I use that properly. Yes. Oh, oh, I see him. Yeah, and I hear him. That's mm. one of them. There's oh boy. I'm not going there. <laughs> 
Any chance for more in-front items just explosive damage range and base bullet damage and show modifiers such as 50% component damage, minus 25% armor damage. Okay, so you want to see more sort of tooltip info on things uh, like ammunition. Okay, what does my ammunition do? What's FMJ do versus AP, for example? Good feedback. I mean, we're all about that is you good. having the info you need to make decisions when you're playing. So That is good. Mm -hmm. I'll take a mental note and take that one back. Mm. I like that one. Would be cool with bigger spider-ish robots that can climb upside down on the ceiling in caves. You're a scary Whoa. guy. Oh no, please Whoa. don't do that. Please. I mean, I yeah. wonder if we can just turn off gravity for the ticks and just let, <laughs> them, oh. let them flow <laughs> in the air. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, real face mm. huggers. I'm yeah, I'm liking this one. Oh, that's fun from Death Driver. I like Which to be able to lure robots out in slippery places and trick them on geography to fall or get trapped. So you have like this, whoa, slippery hunter. Ah, <laughs> like put them on ice or something. Yeah. yeah okay. Or you could shoot the ice beneath them. Well, that, that oh, would be boy. pretty neat. If, as long as it Ooh. might not get any loot. But yeah, it's true. They just sink into the water. But we have mechanics from Call of the Wild where the loot floats towards the edge. We can talk to those folks. Okay, well, Let's talk yeah. to those folks. What can we grab from them? But yeah, that'd be neat. Machines fall yeah. for the ice. and. Hmm. I mean, w w we quite enjoy the vi environmental elements, don't we? I mean, having yeah. the things like the electrical fuse boxes you can use to mm -hmm. do EMP pulses, explodable tanks, explodable cars, this kind of thing. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, doubling down on that a bit more would be pretty Yeah, neat. indeed. Indeed. Oh, boy. Yeah. Let's try to avoid... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't see that one coming. But that was uh, amazing. <laughs> Let's try to avoid exploding no, no, ticks I died the face. Of the, I died I of the smoke. Then. That was amazing. Uh, I literally made Someone eye please contact clip with it when it... Yes, <laughs> I just <laughs> saw it. Like, like, eh. oh. Someone please clip that. That was legendary. Oh, mm. man. Yeah, well, as mm. we spoke, ticks. Mm. The best. Yeah, well... Yes. The, I mean, you know, people love to hate them. They give, they give Be memorable gameplay experiences. I had a hundred percent, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he he got me. There was yeah. an exploding tank next to you. Yeah, which you, was the issue. So you got Yeah, he knew that. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. he's been See, they are smart. He's been planning that for years <laughs> yeah, and he's years. He's waiting for his moment. <laughs> yeah, well, he's like, I got it. Yeah, that was his 50 <laughs> minutes in the limelight. So. Oh shit. Uh. <laughs> I mean, just take the that little guy tick out. that could. Should I? Yeah, man, you keep running by him every time. Just end it, end his existence. Someone make a gif out of that. Yeah. Yes. Oh, mm. all right. And that's what I mean. If ticks weren't there, there would be a void. I mean. They uh, give you memorable. Mm. Yeah, they sure this is a good do. one. <coughs> Can we be able to pick up the apocalyptic uh, tank binds? Oh. Yeah, those things are fucking cool looking. Oh, I, I shouldn't have sworn. You uh, said a swear, Paul. Man. Uh oh. I, just, I usually try to censor myself because <laughs> I swear a lot normally. Yes, that's sorry. Right. But uh, we're, 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 we're all, yeah, you know, it happens. It does. Um, hey, Grand Paul Ponders. Hello, Wolverine. How are hey. you doing? What's up? Mm hmm. Dantic Doe, we spoke about sensitivity options at the start of the screen and had did a little bit of a chat about that, so screen, stream. Feel free to spin back afterwards and you can see what we said about that there. Uh, uh, uh. I think I said this last stream, but, mm. but Pontus, I really enjoy your characters. Just look. <laughs> your style. He's got the style is, on point. It's really, yeah, yeah, well really good. It's snowy outside, so yeah. I, I mean, you gotta you gotta dress for the weather. <laughs> I mean, what if a random snowstorm hits, exactly. or if uh, you just want to go skiing? Yeah, mm -hmm. he's you ready. Never know. At the same he's time, ready. you might see someone you know will look cool, so leather jacket is essential. <laughs> <laughs> Can I please find a health pack? I would be super glad. Nah. Is there going to be a December update? In case you missed it, Justice, we said there will not be a December update right now because of various factors why it doesn't really make good sense to do one. But there will be something for you to sort of keep you somewhat occupied. Uh, we'll give you some information about that on Friday. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked a question. I'm going to I'm gonna derail. Like mm. hard, do it. Hard Do left. it. Um, wait, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ah! 8-Bit uh, Raven plays says, Paul got the last Jedi hype. He's, he's <laughs> admiring my hoodie. Um, I am a diehard Star Wars fan, and I saw Last Jedi this morning. I'm still recovering emotionally and physically. Um, <laughs> I don't want to give anybody any expectations one way or the other, so I'm going to refrain from talking about anything. Yeah, even please if don't I, even spoil Star Wars live on stream. <laughs> just going to just be neutral uh, and just say that I saw it. Good stuff. Yeah. Pontus character looks like his rapper alter ego. Well, I guess. Yeah. Well, <laughs> did you plan that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the, p the hesitation makes me think he at least thought about it at some well, point. Well, I had the clothes on. <laughs> I've been wearing them for like the last couple of streams. Ah, okay. <laughs> 
could you support Pontus' ammo and med kits before the stream? Well, we don't want to. No, this is I my cheat. This is Pontus' actual game save. Yeah, this yeah. is yeah. my my real yeah. save file. I don't want to mix with so, that. Yeah, we I don't want to be using those cheats. We nope. we could have, but that takes all the fun out of it. Yeah. Mainly yeah, sometimes we do when we play on other branch. We we might uh, when Patrick comes here to play. I try to top off with yeah, a couple Patrick of Patrick just burns everything. Twenty, <laughs> thirty <laughs> shots uh, <laughs> and you know whatnot. Yeah, I I mean I think part of the reason for not loading Pontus up is uh, is one I like to see him suffer. Yeah, mm. well, um, who and two it's like I mean that. it's it's still a bit more of a representative of we want to show you the real experience. Yeah, I yeah. mean if we were smart, we'd have Pontus go play and and kind of you know loot some stuff, gear up a little bit like a normal player would. Yep. And be better prepared, but this is kind of fun to watch. Yeah, just Oh, oh boy. Yeah, it's going to be a party here now, I'm guessing. Yep. It's going to be more entertaining to see. Oh well. A dynamic weather. What 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 are you talking about in terms of dynamic weather? Cuz of course we do have uh, weather effects. Um Yeah. Which are dynamic. <laughs> um, Rain, snow. Okay, so you yeah. want it to actually Day have night. gameplay effects. Ah, uh, okay. Like a snowstorm masking your Ooh. ability to see and that kind of thing. I mean, of course we have fog, which can be pretty soupy sometimes and yep. make things a challenge. But you want it to be even tougher or have an even bigger effect, I guess. Yeah, and I, we've, we've talked about that a bit. Um, so it, jumping back to what we talked about with mm. uh, kind of machine movement and stuff, like one of the things that we're, we're, we're having some conversation around now is um, things like, yeah, could weather impact how machines uh, experience the world the same way that for you as a player, when it's foggy, it's harder for you to see. Yeah. Um, there is some element of that in the game now, but mm -hmm. I think that uh, it could be improved on for sure. Yeah, make and it more kind of impactful. Yeah, I guess. it'd be more apparent to you as a player that this is this is making a difference. Mm. Um. <laughs> 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 yeah. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> This is expected. Uh, uh. Would it be possible to add a third-person camera angle later? I mean, it would be neat, oh but the issue is, I think, oh boy. what you th <laughs> the difficulty level of making oh that happen versus what you think, and us as devs know, it's a big thing to add. We'd have to relook at new animations, um, the whole shebang. It would yeah, be a it's really big thing to it's add. A big, it's a big undertaking. Mm. Uh, it's not just as simple as, hey, let's just pop a camera out there back. It's like, yeah. okay, now how does everything look from this angle? Um, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it, opens, it opens a little bit of a, a can of worms. Uh, it's not super massive, but it is a significant amount of, of effort. But at the same um, time, it would be cool to see how neat your characters look all the time. No, but that is uh, that is very ooh. true. That is definitely a, a, a pro in that scenario. Tenebri wants to see Man. rain in your eyes oh, while you're Jesus aiming down God. the iron sights. Oh. I think you think you want that, but <laughs> in reality... <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. <sighs> Man, I need to practice. Yeah. I don't I don't need no med kits. I got enough. <laughs> well, are you saying if you would practice, you would get good? <laughs> well, oh. no. <laughs> no, but I, I, I would die in a prettier way, I guess. Ah, <laughs> well, that, that tank, that tick death was extremely pretty. That one, that one, that. Was, that yeah, was, that one was the uh, last one. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I give you credit he, he really got me off guard. Let's see. Do I have anything nice to do that's not... Uh, <laughs> not you uh 100 miles it. away. There's a rival yeah. over there. Oh, over here? There's two, actually. But then again, I don't think you're really equipped right now to be uh, yours. Food, water, and sleep, or the you know traditional survival game mechanics, that's something that folks bring up every so often. I mean, yep. up until now, we've always said we didn't, we weren't kind of going in that style of genre so correct. much. But um, yeah, yeah, that is correct. Mm -hmm. It's a bit too bit too survival esque versus what we kind of want to yeah. uh, uh, get across in the game. Mm. Um, but I mean. Are there elements that we could take from other games that that do have those mechanics that would make sense? Yeah, perhaps. Um, you know, we're you know we look to other things for inspiration that we think would improve the game. Um, and so, you know, your feedback f for saying you you would like those things make make me as a as a PO as a product owner think about okay, well, what other type of things might that that person uh, mm -hmm. enjoy in other games that that have those mechanics? Yeah. And d would they be a fit for our game? So mm -hmm. it's trying to think about that. Um, a bit more, um, but right now, no, no, uh, no efforts being made to, to introduce those to the game. It's a mm. bit, it's a bit too much for the experience that we're trying to provide. Yep. 
Um, Daniel Radcliffe's asking about the possibility to remove crosshairs from the screen. Daniel I mean, Radcliffe? A few folks have... Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> I amazing. I don't think it's the Daniel Radcliffe. Um, you mean people that aren't their real name on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, well, this anyway. is on Facebook. So yeah. this okay, is sorry. Question. Go ahead. Um, so, we'd like to have crosshairs removed from the screen. I've seen this a couple of times and I've fed it back to the team. Uh, a more mm -hmm. min minimal HUD. Yep, um, I've seen uh, a bunch of people ask for no HUD. Uh, <coughs> I think that goes, that ties back to uh, something we touched on, on the screen earlier when somebody was asking for uh, more sensitivities or more customization mm -hmm. options, things like that. This is this is right along with those uh, grouping of things that I'm I'm looking into right now. Or what are the, what are some of the options that we have? What are other options we could add to the game? Uh, and then starting to work with the team on figuring out how long would it take to do those things, um, and then just make the call on if and when we mm. would do them. So yep. yeah, we're actively looking into that type of stuff right now. Cool. Uh, 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 uh. Could this be a way <coughs> out? Machine death animations, like when you get meleeed by hunters and animation plays where they stab you, etc. I'll, well, I mean, if if we were to have our rating for a day, there's the things we could do. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's Getting true. Chopped up and, rah. but yeah, yeah, I mean, there there could be some cool things you could do which aren't over the top. I presume, but don't you know rely on dismemberment things. That you know, yeah, that um, we need to avoid that one for sure. Yeah, but that'd be pretty neat, actually. Yeah, some kind of finishing move thing that hunters do. Merry Christmas, you guys. Got to go. Thank you, Foundwick, for dropping by. Yes, and Merry Christmas to you. Well, thank you. Happy holidays. I would love to get better close-ups of my character for screenshots. Oh. Okay. I mean, obviously, we put photo mode. That's nothing we mentioned earlier when someone's asked what we did this year. Photo mode's in the game. Uh, we have yeah. photo mode, but you do need to kind of pop out to third person using emotes and stuff to do it that way. So, again, that's something perhaps that we can iterate on uh, further. Yeah. Hmm? It's a good call. Man, this is a nice time of year out in game. Yeah. Sunnier than it has been here. Oh, yeah, for a long time. <laughs> I wish it looked out outside here in Stockholm like yeah, it does it's here a right nice now. It's a nice cloudless. Uh, I mean, it's, mm. it's cloudy. Never mind. But at least you can <laughs> see <laughs> some sky. Yeah, exactly. It's a nice yeah, cloudless <laughs> day. <laughs> um, <laughs> add more music to the radio or the piano. I, for one, I think we need a Spotify integration with the boombox. Oh, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that boombox. said. Just a random playlist from your Spotify. Yeah. Uh, that said, joking oh. around, uh, Francis, our, our lead QA, literally said the same thing this morning. Mm. So kind of funny that, be that you, fun. you both had the same thought independently unless yeah. you this is a coordinated attack on, on my I mean I, I joked about this many moons ago okay. I was there so okay. I was Francis just saying sorry got it but um. I mean we're <laughs> so so I uh, seriously take or taking the question seriously though um, part of it though is is looping back to the environment we're trying to you know keep you immersed in which yeah. is the the 80s yeah. um, but that said uh, one of the things that came up out of our power-up days was our, our sound designer Peter put some effort into actually creating some new songs for the the, the radio mm -hmm. so you know the possibility that those things could could make sense at some point in the future um but uh so what do you reckon yeah. Mu music packs on steam 499 uh, i i <laughs> think i think this is a small fun <laughs> a small fun thing we're not gonna yes, not yes. gonna try to <coughs> charge people for it nice buddy oh oh, oh. yeah they I don't want that seeker to call his mm. friends, though. I think, I mean, they're kind of there. They're far away, so. Yeah, and they were kind of there. Uh, Lee on Facebook is asking, do we plan to add a running slide to the game? So, you know, like a game where you run and then you can crouch and you do a like slide behind cover? We were just talking about that the other day as well. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> this, is, this is uncannily weird. I don't... There's spies in the office. I feel like I'm getting hit from every direction on, on some of these questions. But, uh, yeah, we actually spoke about this the other day internally. So, I mean, yeah. we're always thinking about great ways of improving. The I game. mean, we're not we're not really that type of an action game yeah. uh, cool. where that would make as much sense. I understand the... the the desire for it, mm. um, sh you know, think about it. But I think uh, you know, act, you know, speaking. It could be a honestly, cool perk lying yeah, in a future skill yeah, tree or something. Not, like not uh, top of my my list of things, but you know, I've definitely uh, heard the request. 
That's a good question. Have any of the developers made a favorite place on the map, sort of their dream home? I mean, I know we've seen some real-world inspiration has dropped into some of our area creation. Dream home? I mean, I guess also talking about things like, you know, real-world things, perhaps somewhere a dev grew up. Oh. I know we got Emil's couch in the game. Um, <laughs> I yeah. mean, they're all... Uh, uh, they're. Uh, I was going to make a bad joke about uh, <laughs> Swedish architecture, but never mind. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think that there's there is some uh, really interesting places that people may not have found in the game yet. There are, like an Easter egg. That's type a very thing. interesting one. Actually. I'm, I'm not even to give hints, but it's out there. I know for sure nobody's found it because there would have been a video about it. Yes, there was though, or yes. at least a screenshot telling us like I found a thing. Mm. Um, but yeah, that I'll just leave it at that. So yeah. So you there's something out there for those of you who, who look yeah, you very hard. <laughs> feel free to run around and try to find things that are hidden. Yes. Um, good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I, love, I love the quick turn to like, I'm going to run in this door. <laughs> That's closed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, people asking about mantling mechanics. Being able to climb over objects. Oh, boy. Uh, kind of I mean... Kind of on the same lines of the the running and sliding, like we're again we're, it, it we're takes the that action element up. It does maybe too high for it's not really built. kind of the experience that we have, and it's also I'd say more of a, a more top tier feature for for action games like a yeah. like a battlefield or something. Like yes, yeah. again there's a whole ton of like animation overhead Ooh. that goes with that as well. Yeah, all the we're, other we're moving parts you have to make happen. I mean, uh, yeah. I got distracted by Pontus. <laughs> oh, by amazing skills, you mean? Yeah, I, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the lack of amazing skills. I think it's the uh, how how you kind of let them get close sometimes, and I'm just like my anxiety just starts to <laughs> spike. I'm like, oh, is he oh no, what is he doing? There was some other guy there. Yeah. Oh, I can't take this. Oh, there's a beacon here. That's oh, why I, I saw somebody. Somebody ask. Mm. Uh, blah, blah 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 blah. Where was it? Björn's asking on Facebook if we'll increase the levels from 30 in the future. Um, you know, bigger skill trees, more skill points. Stop distracting. Uh, oh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, we. I think we've talked about this in other streams have, as well. Yeah. It's it's something that we're we're interested in, um, <coughs> but it's not top of the list. There's other things we want to do, and right now it's it's more about what. How do we allow you to use your skills um, in a good way? Because I'm just adding more skill points, or sorry, just adding more levels and thus more skill points into the pool of, of what we have. Um, could have gameplay balance challenges that mm. we, we haven't had time to account for. Um, but also I think that we're we're trying to approach it from a different uh, perspective of what, what do we want to allow you to do with skills um, in interesting ways um, without necessarily just here's an incremental counter for the number to go up, which, I mean, I know as, as yeah. somebody that is kind of driven by numbers going up uh, <laughs> is very appealing. Um, <coughs> so it's that's kind of a an easy thing to do, but mm. I think that what uh, Bjorn and I have been talking a lot about is how do we do something uh, maybe more interesting or, or, or more impactful with yeah. levels and thus skills um, together mm. to try to tackle the I th what we think people are getting at. Maybe survey questions on that later. We're being we're being squeezed for more information about this thing that people want to find. Oh, the th the the quote unquote thing. Is it an Easter egg that requires steps to complete? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, who knows? Patrick knows. Patrick <laughs> knows. <laughs> is Patrick on is Patrick on Twitter? Did I should we give out his Twitter handle so people can harass him <laughs> while he's on vacation? Yeah, maybe his <laughs> uh, personal phone number. Yeah, that's well. so that they can just text him. Yeah, yeah, I good. think it's better. And his email. Let's just broad. Just yeah, give everything. it them a little Patrick pack. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All his the details. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Are you, are you literally looking it up right now? Uh, is not? Okay. Uh, <laughs> see what this is. No, it's different. Okay. Um, <clears throat> can you add PvP or daily kill missions so people complete all the stuff doesn't stop playing because it gets boring? I mean, PvP, oh we've said in the past, is not really a route we want to go down. There's plenty of not awesome PvP games, games out there you can play. Yeah. But, I mean, daily challenges, activities, missions, that kind of thing. I mean, that's that's ideally what the, the challenges that are 
there to provide you with is something to do outside of just the, the mm. story mode. Um, I, in terms of like other daily challenges, you can fight your rivals to try to get some of the, the cool loot that they have. And we're going to try to find more things like that to let you... Um, so you can go off plot and find other things. Yeah, yeah exactly. Doesn't just um, the storyline, yeah. Does a daily challenge necessarily make sense? Uh, I don't know. I'd like um, it. You know, maybe you get a handful of health packs and some ammo for your favorite gun. Yeah. That for me would be neat. Yeah. So you get like a little top up each day of your of your uh, It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Um, but I think part of, ooh, jeez, man. I, yeah. I think part of what's interesting there is how do we kind of fictionalize that? I think with a lot of other games that have those type of, man, this kid lives on the edge. Shoot the uh, explodey things. Yeah. Well, ooh, <laughs> gun down. Um, sorry. Um. It's an interesting thing. We've we've had a lot of conversation around it, and I think that there's there's merit in trying to give you things to do outside uh, of the core story that mm -hmm. reward you for your time, um, and the form that that takes is what's more up for discussion. Yeah. So it's not like I'm I have a, a a hard yes or no on daily challenges. It's more like I have a, a really good yes on trying to give you more rewarding things outside. But of maybe we don't want to make mission. people just be checking off boxes. We want to be more of an emergent. That is a good way to put yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thoughts on companions? Maybe machine based? I mean, I know we talk about pet ticks all the time. <laughs> I know I want one. I want a pet tank. Okay, that's crazy, man. Pet like tank size tick. Like yeah, but okay. you can just ride it tick on the back. Mm. <laughs> but or witness like me. One of the <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, I. Fun thing, probably mm. not top of our list of things to do. No, but, but it would be super fun. Would be interesting. Cool. I mean, I'd also, yeah. I mean, I personally, I love narrative. So I, for me, I'm like, okay, what's how do we, how do we contextualize this and yes. make it make yeah. sense? Uh, but uh, it is a fun idea. I'll Wolfie's asking about radio stations you can listen to. We have a narrative challenge there because, of course, who is running the radio station? What radio station? Um, in yeah. the middle of this machine invasion, who decides that their time is best well spent by giving you the greatest hits of the 80s? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> but otherwise, it, I just, mean, it would be neat. I mean, does yeah. Radio Sferia just have a, like a looping <laughs> track of like <laughs> late 80s pop music? Yeah, or Vint Prat mid... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Uh, uh, anywho, I think that takes us time now. Oh, so man. Oh, yeah, really? Time We're flies out. when you fun. Okay, that went quick. Yeah, it did. So, um, again, this is going to be our last stream now until probably second week of January. Uh, the dev team are going to take some well-deserved family time, get some R&R, &R, and come back full of energy and ideas in 2020. Um, we will be sending out a letter from the team on Friday, I believe. So we'll be giving you a nice uh, wrap-up of different information and telling you about the uh, activity you can take part in during the holiday period. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. It should be neat. So I hope all of you have amazing holidays. And I hope I have an amazing <laughs> holiday. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. We'll see you in 2020, yeah. I guess. Yes. Uh, I will I will wrap with one thing. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody for, for going on this journey with us. Mm -hmm. It's been crazy. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I know from the the team side, we're we're really happy with kind of where we've gotten the game now, and we just want to how you know see how we can keep trying to improve it, keep mm -hmm. you know doing stuff that that you enjoy, and hopefully you keep coming back. Um, so thank you for a good first year, um, and we hope that you know we'll continue to surprise and delight you throughout the throughout 2020. Um, yeah, I'll leave it there. Happy holidays to everybody. Cool. Yeah. Happy holidays, everyone. Bye bye. Have a great time, guys.